Hey everybody, it's Mark from Route 249, back again with the Zoom HD 16. Thank you all for your comments and questions. My latest question was about using the bounce function. And this is a function that everyone that uses one of these babies should be using. It takes whatever number of tracks you want to record down, you can move them or bounce them to say one stereo track or a couple of tracks or whatever you want to put them to. Uh, I'm going to go over this bounce feature. There's a couple of ways of using bounce. Most people only use one, but I'm going to show you another way to use bounce. So, to get you going, we have to set bounce up and we do that through our project utility. We're going to arrow over here until it says bounce. And two things we're going to set up. We're going to assign VTake number for it to be used. Its default is going to be the current one if you've never changed it. And that's whatever VTake that it is set for on that track. Let's say we're going to move it to 1516. So whatever VTake it's set up for is where it would record it if you used current. I want to assign one so I know exactly which number it's going to because I don't know which one my other tracks are set to. So I put it on two, I exit out. Another thing for setting it up is I have to turn on the ability to hear it while we're recording. It's set up as its default to mute. I prefer to have it set up to where I can hear it while it's recording. So I turn it to play and exit out of that. We're done with that. All right. Now, only thing left to do is turn on which track we want to record this bounce to. We're going to take these five tracks, actually, from my last lesson. Because there's five tracks, they're already set up. I don't have to record anything new. I hit bounce, and we're ready to go. Hit your stop when you're done. We zero it back to the beginning. We can turn these off. Turn our bounce off. We're done with that. Put it on play, and there it is. Now we've taken five tracks and put it down to one. That's simple. You don't want to listen to it again. But just to show you that it's there. Another option that you can use is I can take these same five tracks. These are the mono tracks and we just recorded a stereo track. And although it saves all your stereo information, listening to it when I put it on the headphones only listens through one ear. So you really can't hear the stereo effect. If you don't need a lot more of the tracks then I usually put them down into two tracks and make them into stereo so that I can hear the stereo going on and it helps me to add things whether I want them panned left or right so you have to set that up as well and what we're going to do is we're going to link these two together in a stereo and we hit our track parameter and uh, Normally, when you hit that, it's set up here on pan. Just arrow down. Uh, you can go up and do any of your EQ settings or your reverbs. But anyways, if you go down, we're on 7. And we're just going to go on down to where it says ST-Link Off. 
and all you do is turn it on and see how they're both lit up now if I turn it off only one is on and by the way what you want to light up is your odd number ones and those are the faders that you use alright so we have it on we can exit out of that now we can do the exact same thing that we did to bounce it down to 15 and 16 and we can put them on 7 and 8 we put it in red hit our bounce feature and record now I'm not seeing my levels it makes me think that I don't have my V take set right so probably we're going to have to change those in order to listen to it but we can hear it while it's recording so it's not a big issue you just don't see the faders or the uh, levels there's that we stop it when it's done re-zero it Turn these off. We probably won't hear it, like I said. Oh, it did record. This one does nothing. It's all on the odd one. So you can hear it. We've recorded onto this, and it's a true stereo. When you listen through the headphones, you can hear the difference between right and left. Okay. Well, I know it's a quick lesson, but I hope you got some information out of it. And I hope this will help you out when you go to move multiple tracks over. And we'll see you next time, where music meets the highway life at Route 249. Take care.